The fourth industrial revolution offered Africa unique opportunities to foster economic development and innovation for years to come. However, like previous industrial revolution before, the digital revolution raises major issues that require legal clarification. African regulators, stakeholders and industrial developers must come together to address the challenges deriving from the convergence between the physical and the digital world and to adopt appropriate legal frameworks to safeguard competition and intellectual property rights. The aim of this lecture is to introduce the legal implication of Industry 4.0 with a particular regard to the African context. The first part focuses on the rationale of intellectual property protection and the status of IP legislation in Africa. The second one examines the issues related to the latest technological developments such as the Internet of Things and 3D printing. After this lecture, you will have an overview of the legal issues posed to industrial companies and policymakers by digitalization. You will recognize in particular that the existing and national IP regulatory frameworks need to be constantly developed to meet the challenges of the different disruptive technologies. With the term Industry 4.0, or Fourth Industrial Revolution, we usually refer to the full integration of information and communication technology with the industrial sector, in order to enhance the efficiency and flexibility of production. This phenomenon is generally associated with the proliferation of machines, industrial systems, and devices connected to communication networks and capable of interacting with people and other devices during production process. Since the digital revolution is driven by a steady flow of inventions and creation, which require tremendous investment in research and development, the protection of intellectual property rights have become a top priority for innovative companies. Those realities, in fact, highly depend on the use of the intellectual property rights portfolio to survive in the market. IP legislation has gained prominence over the last few decades, since it is viewed as an instrument through which nations can promote industrial and technological development. However, the implementation of a solid intellectual property rights regime is not an easy task. To get the framework to work, in fact, it is necessary to create a support infrastructure of trained personnel provided with sufficient means. The lack of internet access in many countries, for instance, is the major obstacle to this process, as it limits the ability to access relevant and much needed information or to maintain good record keeping practices. The establishment of the World Trade Organization WTO, with the consequent adoption of the TRIPS Agreement, has meant the creation of a global standardized IP regime, as far as it laid down minimum standards to be met by each WTO member country. Most African countries have taken or are in the process of taking measures to ensure legislative compliance with international internet of property rights norms, and also improving their capacity of effectively monitor infringement and enforcement of international property rights. One clear example is given by Republic of Mozambique, who recently adopted a new industrial property code as part of its national strategy to foster economic, social and technological development. African private and public actors should also consider the new challenges presented by the digital transformation of the current understanding and use of IP protection. This in turn demands to modify the existing legal framework and protection strategies by developing new approaches better suited to the rapidly changing industrial environment. 3D printing technology, for instance, raises many issues for designers and product manufacturers, as these disruptive technologies can potentially make the infringement of IP rights cheaper and more attractive. One area of concern of intellectual property owners is the prospect of 3D printers becoming widely available to the general public as well as computer ID design files serving as blueprints to enable the printing. For example, users might download an authorized CAD file online and print 
unauthorized copies of retail products that violate the exclusive rights of patent, trademarks, trade dress, or copyright holders. In this regard, the printing presents some of the same challenges of their digitalization of music, books, and movies before it. However, the potential application of IP system to 3D printing is still uncertain for the moment. For example, it remains unclear to what extent, if at all, CAD files are eligible for IP protection, or whether the simple act of making CAD file, either by scanner, an object, or designing it from scratch on a computer, does constitute direct infringement of intellectual property rights. Likewise, it has yet to be fully explored the whether and to what extent the existing legal tools are able to address the challenges coming from the industrial application of the Internet of Things, also known as IoT. In the IoT ecosystem, it is indeed necessary to develop state-of-the-art standardization frameworks. Standards have to harmonize technical specification of products and services making industry more efficient and breaking down barriers to international trade. With the proliferation of connected devices over the coming years, IoT technological implementation should rely on commonly agreed interoperable standard. In order to avoid regional fragmentation, enable interoperability across industrial domains and support smart city project development. In conclusion, to achieve the full promise of the fourth industrial revolution and to harness technological and economic development flowing from IP or dreams, it is imperative that African countries enact IP laws and adopt adequate enforcement policies. Moreover, as the digital and physical worlds are converging, African regulators, stakeholders and industrial developers must come together to address the new legal issues related to the digital revolution.